Hello and welcome to my video about the game DVR on Windows 10. So to be able to record, what you need to do is hit your start button, go into your Xbox thing right here, and that's going to load up this window right here. Then you can go to settings, game DVR. Now the game DVR will allow you to record your gameplay as well as do like it does on the console called record that, which will record the last so many minutes up to 10 minutes if you hit a button. This is kind of good for those of you that actually record clips and stuff like that, but for me, I'm just going to manually set it to record, and it can record up to two hours. You can also then change, um, I don't think it lets you change where it saves it to, it'll be saving it to your documents videos folder, and then you can change the quality. The video quality can either be standard or high, and the video resolution can either be standard or high. I would say just try out high, see if your computer can handle it, if not, then go to standard, and then the audio, just make sure that you're recording the audio as well and then change it to 192 kilobits per second. Now in order to record you are going to have to keep this open so minimize it and then what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to our Steam. We're going to open up the game of my choice for example me it's going to be War at War and then here we are. Now to open up this you're going to have to press the Windows plus G button and you can open up this. If it doesn't let you record right away, you're going to have to do that. Once you do that though, it should let you record with the hotkey, which is Window Alt R. And as you can see, we're now recording our game right there on the top right hand corner, there's a little record button. Now, you're not supposed to see any noticeably dis uh, difference with this, like computer wise. It shouldn't affect with your computer really at all because it's using your graphics card. Now I am recording this, which is also recording this. Um, so there might be some FPS drop for it, mainly from the recorder that's actually recording my screen. So I figure I would just record for a few moments and then I'd actually do a recording when I'm not recording to see if there is any lag or anything like that. Um, but we'll definitely take a look then. But this is pretty much it for uh, this part of the recording. So when we're done, we can hit Windows Alt R to stop the recording. And it'll say a little thing down here that you've recorded a clip. So let's close out of this. Just quit out of there. And then we can actually check our notifications, which is quite cool. It's like, oh, we recorded a clip. Here it is. So then you can either watch it in here, or you can actually open up the folder and then watch it in here. And here we go. Here's our video player. It's playing the clip we just recorded. Now, it doesn't have my voice, obviously, because I cannot record my own mic, which should be an, an issue. It's a feature that should be added in the future, so hopefully they will. But there we go. The quality doesn't look too bad. Um, hopefully this is still recording, uh, but the quality doesn't look that bad. So what I'll do then is I'll cut the video here, I'll jump into full quality uh, of the game itself, and then I'll set it to record in 1080p, and then I'll put that recording in the video so you can see the quality. So let me do that, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, so I recorded a few moments of the video, and I'm going to right click and go to the properties just to show you what the quality is. So if we go into details, it's recording 1920 by 1080 at a data rate about 21 kilobits per second. So probably about 20, 21 megabytes per second. It's recording at 28 frames per second though, um, so about 30 FPS. There's no way to change it to 60 FPS, but for the most part, that's really good. Uh, the file size is also only 185 megabits per minute. Um, that's really low uh, compared to what I'm used to so it's quite nice I'll open it up and now I'll put it in the actual video and then we'll look at it together so as you can see here there were a little bit issues on the video when I first started recording um, if you can see it's kinda grainy on the bottom this gets fixed shortly after uh, the recording but I would say maybe start recording a few minutes before uh, as you can see there's some issues right there going on but then it does fix itself and I don't see them again the only problem I did have though is the when I'm in full screen on Word of War, the game bar and the recording little icon, those don't show up in game. I actually had no idea if or I was not recording. The only difference I saw is when I did start to record, my screen changed res uh, changed qual uh, not quality but like uh, lighting a little bit. Um, and that was the only difference I saw. There was nothing to indicate that hey you're recording by recording in full screen. I don't know if it's just the word at war or a full screen games in general, but there's no way to tell if you're recording. So pretty much just hit the record and hope. And then when I did alt tab from the full screen, uh, which normally you don't do if you're on full screen, but it did stop the recording as well. Um, so there's that as well. But pretty much the quality looks fantastic. 
Um, and hopefully you guys agree as well. But uh, yeah, the only downside, like I said, and what I would like to see improved is make it so we can change the quality ourselves to something higher than 20 megabits or whatever it is. Also make it so we can record our microphones on a separate track. Um, and then also... That's pretty much it. For the most part, this records fantastic. I didn't notice any issues or lag or anything like that. And I'm actually really impressed with this. Um, would I use this over something like NVIDIA Shadowplay? Probably not. But I only have AMD, and I would definitely use this over Raptor. So hopefully they make it so we can get 60 FPS, change the quality, and allow us to record at least our microphone in a separate track. And this thing is going to be amazing, and you wouldn't, there would be no need for the other softwares. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on Windows 10 as well as the game DVR, and if you plan to use it or not. I'll see you guys in my next video.